security breach at Mar-a-Lago, the ongoing intrusions and legal chaos involving Chinese national. In the ongoing saga of security concerns surrounding Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate, a series of disturbing intrusions and trespassing attempts have brought attention to the vulnerabilities surrounding the former president's Florida residence. Most recently, a Chinese national, identified as Lee, was arrested on trespassing charges after attempting to breach the estate despite a court order forbidding him from doing so. This arrest, part of a pattern of disruptive encounters at the property, underscores both the security risks posed by unauthorized individuals and the challenges law enforcement faces in managing such incidents. This latest event began when Lee, a 39-year-old man who resides in suburban Los Angeles on a student visa, arrived at Mar-a-Lago's entrance gate in an Uber. He had already gained attention in previous months due to several disturbing contacts with the estate and its security personnel. His actions led to an arrest in July, followed by multiple encounters with Secret Service agents and local law enforcement. The trespassing charge was the result of Lee's failure to abide by previous court orders, which included instructions to stay away from the estate and Trump himself. What is most alarming, however, is the broader context of repeated, often bizarre, incidents at Mar-a-Lago. The estate has seen multiple attempts at unauthorized entry, including at least five notable intrusions during Trump's first term as president. Among these, two of the most concerning incidents involved individuals of Chinese nationality, with one case involving a sniper who nearly killed Trump during a rally in Pennsylvania. Another Chinese national allegedly attempted to assassinate the former president in September while stalking his Palm Beach County golf course. These events highlight the potential dangers posed by persistent intruders who may be connected to larger geopolitical tensions. Lee's arrest is part of a broader pattern of trespassing incidents that have escalated since he first attempted to gain entry to Mar-a-Lago in July. During this first attempt, Lee claimed to have critical information linking China to an assassination plot against Trump. However, after being questioned by Secret Service agents, he was told to leave and warned not to return. Despite these warnings, Lee returned to the estate on multiple occasions, continuing to breach security and trespass on the property. In addition to the trespassing attempts, Lee's behavior has raised serious concerns about his mental health. After one of his attempted entries, he was found near the estate and later taken to a mental health facility for evaluation. Just prior to his most recent arrest, Lee was released from the hospital, only to appear again at Mar-a-Lago, where he was detained once more. This sequence of events points to troubling patterns of erratic behavior that suggest Lee may be dealing with serious psychological issues, though the specifics of his mental health diagnosis have not been disclosed. Despite this, his repeated violations of court orders and attempts to breach security at such a high-profile location have led to a revocation of his bail and the extension of his legal troubles. The Mar-a-Lago estate has faced other security breaches in the past as well, many involving individuals who were clearly either mentally unstable or otherwise unprepared to deal with a high level of security in place. For instance, in August 2020, three teenagers, fleeing from a police chase while armed with a semi-automatic gun, jumped over the estate's walls. They were apprehended immediately and it was later determined that they likely did not even know where they had landed, with no intention of targeting Trump or his property. Another memorable incident occurred in January 2020, when a Connecticut opera singer, suffering from a mental breakdown, was confronted by Palm Beach County Sheriff deputies after attempting to drive through a checkpoint outside Mar-a-Lago. The deputies opened fire on her, but she was not struck. Later, she was found not guilty by reason of insanity after being charged with multiple offenses, including aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer and resisting arrest. These incidents are symptomatic of the broader security challenges that face high-profile political figures, particularly former presidents like Donald Trump, who retain significant public attention even after leaving office. The combination of individuals with various motives, ranging from those suffering from mental health issues to those potentially involved in larger political plots, creates a unique and dangerous environment for the security personnel tasked with protecting such figures. This most recent trespassing case involving Lee is not an isolated event, but rather part of a worrying trend of intrusions at Mar-a-Lago. The estate has become a target for a range of individuals, some of whom seem to have mental health concerns or unstable motives, while others may be part of more coordinated efforts. Notably, these events come on the heels of a disturbing announcement from the U.S. Department of Justice, which disclosed the dismantling of an Iranian plot to assassinate Trump. This, combined with other high-profile incidents, underscores the continued threat to the safety of public figures and the need for robust security protocols to handle such risks. While some of these intrusions can be chalked up to individuals acting irrationally or without clear intent to cause harm, others have more serious implications, raising questions about the security measures in place to prevent such breaches and how law enforcement can better address these issues moving forward. With the frequency of security incidents at Mar-a-Lago, the estate may need to reassess its security procedures, including both physical barriers and intelligence gathering efforts, to prevent future breaches. The case of Lee in particular raises important questions about the intersection of mental health, national security, and law enforcement's role in protecting public figures. As the legal proceedings unfold, the details of Lee's psychological condition will likely become a focal point, as will the broader issues surrounding the legal tools available to authorities in preventing such incidents. The court's decision to hold Lee without bond reflects the seriousness of his actions and the heightened security concerns around Mar-a-Lago. 
At the same time, these repeated security breaches point to a growing issue of how to balance national security with the protection of individual civil rights. While Mar-a-Lago's high-profile status makes it a frequent target for intrusion, it is clear that security measures must evolve to address an increasingly complex and potentially dangerous landscape. Law enforcement agencies will need to stay vigilant, especially considering the political and ideological factors that may motivate some individuals to target the estate or its occupants. In conclusion, the case of the Chinese national, Li, serves as a stark reminder of the ongoing security challenges at Mar-a-Lago and the broader risks faced by public figures in a politically charged climate. With increasing incidents of trespassing, both by individuals with mental health issues and those with more nefarious intentions, the need for heightened security at such locations is clear. The ability of law enforcement to respond quickly and effectively to these incidents will be crucial in ensuring the safety of those who reside or visit high-profile estates, such as Mar-a-Lago in the future. As the legal and security landscape continues to evolve, it remains to be seen how authorities will adapt to the growing threats that face these high-profile locations.